Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. As you know, I've been putting out um, videos fast and furious um, recently um, because um, the COP28 is going on in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Started November 30th and it runs for 12 days. So it's about halfway through right now. And uh, not halfway, but third of the way through, I guess. But anyway, um, reports, like I say, you know, in preparation for um, to get higher visibility by all different branches of the United Nations, by non-governmental organizations, anything to do with climate change, um, international organizations. They're all putting out reports, um, fast and furious. And I often talked about I've covered quite a few in recent videos. There's way more that I haven't covered, some that I absolutely will have to. So I'm trying to, you know, catch up on that. But I came across a an invaluable list. So I thought I'd put together this short video to show you how you can find all of these reports yourself. Um, and because there's no way I'll be able to cover every one of them. Um, so this is a um, this is a website I came across. Policy Commons is a group. So if you go to policycommons.net and you type in COP28 or just Google policycommons.net, COP28, Climate Comprehensive Collection, that's what they're calling this thing here. And right now, I just updated it. There's 71 items on it. Um, Basically about 49 reports, nine discussion working papers, five acts, decisions, instruments, three briefs, two blogs, and two data sets. So this is all for the COP. Um, and I'll talk about some of the things on this list in a minute, but I thought I'd investigate Policy Commons a little bit. And for most of the websites, uh, for most of the, so policycommons.net is the main website. You, just, you typically have to register to use all the features. I haven't done that. I probably should. I think it's free registration. Um, but I was able to search for topics. So clicking on topics, these were all the topics that came up. And then you can also search for them alphabetically. Um, so climate change is on here. So clicking on that, climate change. And what it does is you can follow it. And it gives you... Um, it's got various organizations that are publishing and it gives you the publications. Um, this is from March, March, <coughs> 2024. Wow. So it's got publications that don't even exist yet. I guess that's the date is expected to come out. The buildings and climate global forum looks like a conference. Um, another United Nations environment assembly in February, 2024. Uh, so it has stuff that hasn't even occurred yet. Here's a um, air pollution, probably from the COP. And there's reports, okay? Uh, and it looks like it's just going back, uh, you know, very, very current, up-to-date stuff. So if you subscribe, you can get on their list and uh, any key reports and things you can access. So I should probably register and try that. Um, if I do, I'll get back to you on it. But this is the um, this is the list. It's called the Comprehensive Collection COP28 in Climate, um, put together by Toby Green. Uh, started November 23rd, but it's updated. Um, when I looked at it yesterday, it was 61 items. Today, um, it's 71 items. So, let's have a look at some of the reports. So it gives. COP28 Presidency, United Nations Climate Change, and Bloomberg Philanthropies launched new industrial transition accelerator for heavy emitting industries. And it's, uh, you know, you can click on the link and find it, these reports. So here's a report, the overshoot, crossing the 1.5 threshold and finding our way back. It's by the Climate Crisis Advisory Group. I haven't talked about that one yet in a video. Here's a WMO report on November 30th. I haven't talked, I did talk about that. I did a video on that um, uh, just a few days ago. 
uh, global stock take, uh, all right? There's all kinds of reports. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, global drought snapshot 2023, the UN, United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification came out December 1st. Um, small island developing states, capacity development, tripling renewable power from the International Renewable Energy Agency came out late October. Let's just have a look uh, at the titles. You can smell petrol in the air, UAE fossil fuels feed toxic pollution. It's like an article. Provisional state of the global climate, that's the WMO uh, report, um, which maybe it's listed twice. Refining the Global Goal and Adaptation ahead of COP, the International Peace Institute, um, the OECD report, um, uh, UN uh, reports, reducing the risks of climate overshoot, the Climate Overshoot Commission, um, addressing the climate crisis in fragile and conflict affected settings, climate equality, a planet for the 99%. I did a video on this report, Arab civil society position paper on COP28, the climate transparency people, COP28, a tale of money, fossil fuels and divisions the state of climate action, major course correction needed from plus 1.5% to minus 7% annual emissions. That's from the World Economic Forum. COP28 net zero atlas, right? Oil and gas industry, the IEA report, power shift, global alliance for the future of food, right? State and trends of carbon pricing, the consequence of Russia's War on Ukraine for Climate Action, Food Supply, and Energy Security. That was a report from September, right? All of these, the WWF report on forests. Okay, so I'm just giving you a flavor of them. Um, so if you want to set up your own video channel, you can start covering some of these reports. Um, I'll just go through and see food, agriculture, and climate from the Ecologic Institute. I'm gonna have, have, you know, I'll have to do White Health, Green Alliance. I did a Lancet report, it's probably in here. World Resources Institute, State of Climate Action 2023. Covered that in a video. Reality Check, Lessons from 25 Policies Advancing a Low Carbon Future. Okay, so you get the idea. I mean, let's just go through and see. Uh, Climate Action Monitor, Emissions Gap Report. I've downloaded that and I've done a video on it. Climate Finance, Petrostates in Decline, Carbon Tracker, that's worth looking at. 10 New Insights into Climate Science, December 4th, World Climate Research Program. That's definitely worth looking at. It sounds like a climate science-y one. Um, Multi-hazard early warning systems. Global renewables, and let's just keep going. We're almost at the end. Record greenhouse gas levels, that's Amnesty International. I think I covered that one. Maybe not. <laughs> There's so many of them. This I want to definitely cover. Greenhouse gas emissions data, climate trace. This is uh, Al Gore's, uh, one of the projects he's involved in and funding. They just came out with a report. It's definitely worth looking at. Is basically looking at, uh, it looks for, and this is a country inventory, right? It looks for emissions around the entire planet coming from each country, each city, different sectors, definitely worth a separate video on. So anyway, I highly recommend, um, you know, if you want access to reports that are new, that are relevant to COP28, Policy Commons, Climate Comprehensive Collection is the place to go and it's updated every day. Um, like I said, yesterday I looked, it was 61 items, today it's 71 items. There's multiple reports coming out every day. This will continue to the end of COP. So anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you this. Um, if there's any reports that I must cover, uh, please leave it in the comments and I'll have a look at them. 
Um, also, please consider donating to my PayPal account on paulbeckwith.net to support my research and videos. Thanks again, and bye for now.